welcome back to another video and Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. Today's video in England is going out on Christmas Eve so I thought I would do a bit more of a festive video, kind of like a festive day in the life because this is our first ever Christmas with Duke and I wanted to make it a special one. But anyway, before we get into today's video, the other week I was at the London International Horse Show and I filmed a video then um, but I had so much fun. There were so many of you that came to my signing. I think it was probably one of the busiest meetups I've ever done. So thank you so much to everybody who came. And I'm really sorry for some of you that had to wait quite a while, but it was really lovely to meet all of you. But anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm gonna be doing a video from my time at the London International Horse Show. And it's your lucky day because it is already out. I did the video with the FEI, so it's gonna be over on the FEI YouTube channel. Um, so the FEI is the governing body of equestrian sport. So um, I had so much fun watching the World Cup there, as well as going Going behind the scenes doing a course walk with Joe Stockdale and doing a little bit of shopping with him as well but anyway if you'd like to see that vlog I will leave an iCard to that and a link in the description below if you want to check that out later but first I'm gonna put in a little teaser and a few little clips of what I got up to channel today I'm gonna to be taking over the FEI channel oh you've gone for the blue it actually kind of goes with your mask actually I'm kind of coordinating yeah matchy matchy oh. yeah you know it's a massive atmosphere I mean you can just feel it around you enjoyed that little snippet but first things first we need to go and grab Duke probably give him a bit of a groom because he's looking kind of dirty um, but I thought it would be really adorable to get some super cute Christmas photos because you know it's his first Christmas with us his first Christmas with a home so let's go and grab him Oh my goodness, guys. I feel like I am taking color coordinated to the max today because I was like, okay, I probably need to go and grab a lead rope for Duke. I'm gonna try and get one that kind of goes with my outfit. So the Rioca one, oh my goodness, okay. The burgundy sort of berry color, it goes with my breeches, with my top, and it's even got sort of like a neutral tan creamy color and that goes with my top. Like this is this is next level color coordination. Anyway, I also have some tinsel, which is also kind of more of a plum color that also matches my breeches. So I feel like me and Duke, we're gonna be looking awesome today. Obviously I might need to do a little bit of desensitization with him with the tinsel because he is only a baby and I don't know if he's ever seen tinsel before. So this might be a little new, shiny and scary for him. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this back, grab his head collar and go get him. Oh my goodness, you are adorable. This is one of my like things that I just find so adorable about Mickey. And that is when he drinks, he always sticks his tongue out afterwards. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, but every time he drinks some water, he just sticks his tongue out afterwards. I don't know why, but I find it the cutest thing. But anyway, I need to get Duke now. I feel like, I feel like I've been so distracted today. Duke, hello. Of course you're over here, yes. You wanna to go to the camera? <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Sometimes Duke's really funny if you're wearing some new clothes, especially if they smell different to your normal clothes. Um, Cause I put a new jacket on the other day and he just was absolutely, not like terrified of me, but he just kept, 
he just wasn't, he didn't trust me. Hey, it's okay, I'm just putting, you might need to get a bigger head collar soon, mate. Your head's definitely grown. Your head's definitely grown, yes. Um, but anyway, the same thing happened with my cameraman. He was wearing a new jacket the other day and Duke just, he just like, <laughs> you were just like, who is this? You were really confused, weren't you? But we're okay, aren't we? Yes, okay, you just want to eat the camera. You just want to eat the camera. That's not a very festive treat. No, come on in, should we go? Come on, Duke. I don't know if you guys can see, but something we've been doing recently is hanging up some haylage nets from the pine trees. And that means that they kind of swing around, so they eat them a little bit slower. Come on, Duke. Oh, you're such a good boy going through the gate now. Are you gonna stand? Stand, oh, well done. Come on then. Oh, that's my jumper. I know it's a very impractical colored jumper to wear around horses, but you know what? It's Christmas, yes. And it's your first Christmas with us. Duke, what do I have here? I have some little treats for you. For being a good boy, yeah? So Duke is actually a lot cleaner than I was expecting. Because the other day when I filmed my last stable talk video, him and Mickey were just absolutely filthy. If you've seen that video, you will understand the level of filth that they were. But anyway, as I was saying before, this is Duke's first ever Christmas with a home. So we rehomed him from Wild Horse Welfare um, back in August. And we actually had his six month checkup the other day, which was very exciting. So um, of course, Wild Horse Welfare do own Duke and I just sort of loan them from him. Um, but I am his like main sort of carer to make sure that you're fit and healthy, yes. Um, so they come around every sort of six months just to check that um, I'm looking after him properly and things like that. But anyway, he's been doing really, really well. Um, but anyway, I thought because, you know, it's his first Christmas with us, we should get some super cute Christmas photos. Yes. So I'm going to quickly grab my grooming brushes now, give him a bit of a brush, get him looking a bit cleaner. Also, his shaving, he's, I mean, his tail is absolutely covered in shavings the other day it was so cute i came up here to feed them their breakfast a little earlier than expected and he was lying down in his stable sleeping covered in shavings obviously he got up when i got nearer yes but it was so cute so cute i'm so sad i didn't get a photo but anyway time to get you groomed mister yes you are loving these treats i have the like really small sized ones because i think sometimes the bigger ones he struggles a little bit with his tiny little teethies yes Anyway, I'm gonna get some brushes now. Yes, I'm gonna get some brushes. Good boy. Duke, have I found your scratchy spot? Yeah, or is here your scratchy spot? Is here your scratchy spot? Oh, where do you wanna be scratched? Where do you wanna be scratched? Oh, ooh, ooh, scratchies. Anyway, let's get you groomed. <laughs> Shall we? You are looking beautiful. Yeah, you are. Okay, so I've almost finished grooming Duke off now. And I think the next thing we need to do is probably his hooves, because they are looking a little muddy. So I'll probably just quickly pick them out, give them a bit of a wipe off, because it doesn't look too good, does it? We don't want muddy hooves, no. Um, but then it's time to get the tinsel out and see what you think, yes. Obviously if there's anything that he really hates and doesn't like, then I'm not gonna force him to do anything he doesn't want to. Um, but I thought, you know, you could look very cute with some tinsel. Yes. Nose wiggle, nose wiggle. His favorite thing is to put his, put his head on my hand and then I give him a little nose wiggle. Nose wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This one, Jukey. I rolled up my sleeves because this top is the most impractical colour to be around with horses. 
You're okay. Just picking your hooves out. Duke. Sand, you're okay. You're okay. I'm just doing your hooves. Yes. There we go. What a good baby. There we go. I'm just picking out your hooves, boy. Just picking out your hooves. Good boy, Duke. And down. Alright, Duke, I have some spray here I'm going to put in your mane to make you look very pretty. You going to be okay with the spray? Yeah, you going to be okay with the spray? Can I brush it in? Yeah, brush it into your beautiful mane. So I've just put some stuff on his mane to make it look really shiny. I've never used this before, but oh my goodness, it looks so good. I feel like it's made it less poofy as well. Oh my goodness, that was a high-pitched squeal. Are you talking to them? Yeah. All right, it's now time to show him some tinsel. I've got some gold as well that I thought we could put on his head collar, but I want to make sure that he doesn't get too spooked by it. Here we go. Do you want to come and say hi to the tinsel? Don't eat it. It doesn't taste very good, I promise. It might look pretty. Are you okay with the tinsel? All right, if I do a bit of a bit of rattle rattle near you. Yeah, you want to give it a sniff? That's fine. You're okay, you're okay. Look, I'll put it on me. Yeah. Oh, you're such a good inquisitive little baby. You know what, if I put it down here? Yeah. All right, would be, you be okay if I put a little bit of this on your on your nose band, right there, yeah. All right, baby, I'm just gonna, gonna pop it here, and then I'm gonna put it round, and then I'm gonna twist it in here, yeah. Twist it round, there we go. I'm gonna pop it here. <gasps> Look how beautiful you are, yeah! Lastly, are you going to be okay if I put this around you? If not, it's okay, I can wear it. Oh. What a brave boy! I'm just going to tie a little knot here. There we go, and then it can dangle like that. Duke! Oh, you're a little Christmas pony. Yeah, you look amazing. Should we get some photos? Would that be good? Yeah? Oh, you're so brave. So brave. Duke has been such a good boy for the photos so hopefully we've got some good ones but anyway I think he definitely deserves some treats now to take off the tinsel let him go back into the field and get all muddy again have you enjoyed your little Christmas photo shoot yeah good baby Mwah. he loves just resting his head on my hand like this don't you you love it it's your favorite thing yeah all right I'm just gonna gently take the tinsel off him now. I'm honestly so impressed with how good he was with it, especially for being such a baby. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pop that down now and take the one on your nose band off. Are you such a superstar? Yes, of course. Like I didn't want to do anything that was sort of pushing him too far or that he wasn't comfortable with, but he was so good. You have been awesome, Mr. Duke. Yes. Oh no, this is not for eating. <laughs> it is not for eating. It's not. I'll go get you some treats, shall I? I'll go and get you some. Yeah. Go on, Duke. Let's put you back, shall we? Mickey is going to think that you smell wonderful with that spray on you. You smell beautiful. Yeah. 
All right, Duke, here's some treaties for being a good boy. Yeah, and don't worry, Mickey, you got some treaties too, yes. Okay, should I take your head collar off and you can go and get as dirty as you like now? Yes, yes, I'll see you later, boys. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was a big grunt. All right, so I've just grabbed Caspi's head collar because the next thing I need to do is take him for a hack. And I thought we'd go for a little bit of a festive hack. So I do have some tinsel to dress him up as well. I'm thinking maybe going for like a hunter green, maybe chili red, maybe a bit of mulberry. I don't know, I'm thinking like green and red um, for him for our little outfit today to make him look a little bit more Christmassy. But I'm gonna go and grab him now. What I can see from here is that he is absolutely filthy. So I think he's gonna need a huge groom too. I've got you your Christmas outfit. Yeah. Got you an ear bonnet to match my breeches and a saddle pad to match my helmet. What do you think? Do you like it? It's not very, I mean, it's kind of matchy. There's lots of Christmas colors. I think you're gonna look so cute, yeah? Oh my goodness, I'm actually so proud of how Casper's Christmas decorations look. So I decided to use a breastplate because then I could um, wrap the tinsel around. I don't have to worry about it maybe like getting loose or hanging down and that like disturbing him. So this is actually Joey's breastplate. So I usually use it on him, but I've adjusted it so Casper can wear it. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's gonna look really cute. I just need to add the Rioja, um little ear bonnet, put his bridle on, and then I'll see you guys when we're on our hack. Good boy. everybody I have just finished my hack with Casper now he was so good the fields were a little bit wet so we didn't go too fast um, but anyway I will see you guys when we are back home at the yard <laughs> Right, guys we're now back and I'm here with Joey and I'm just getting him ready for our ride we're gonna go into school today because it's his schooling day now um, I've got him already in his dressage saddle uh, we've gone for the French rose today because that's the in my dressage saddle pads the color 
that I thought maybe goes best with our outfit. So Joey has, it's gonna look very pretty in pink, yes. I've also put some tinsel around his neck. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a disaster waiting to happen, so I might have to take it off if he does not like it. Um, but so far, he's looking very cute. To make sure that we're still a little bit color coordinated, I'm gonna put his hunter green, fly veil on and I feel like that will sort of tie the Christmassy outfit all together. I'm not too sure what I want to do with him yet. We might do some leg gilding or some pole work but I'll see you guys when I'm riding him. What a good boy. Oh you are so slobbery. So slobbery and licky. Did you enjoy those treats? Yes. Christmas is coming, the snowflakes will be falling, it's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. It's the only time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round or go out and paint the town. All right, everybody, I have had so much fun having a festive day with the horses, getting them all dressed up, especially with the tinsel on them. I just thought they looked absolutely adorable. But anyway, before today's video ends, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. Um, thank you again for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.